What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I apologize for the shitty lighting. It's not how I wanted it, but I have something I need to speak to y'all about. And this concerns everybody that I know that's in the groups that I'm in. Hang on, y'all. I have to look up one more person to add to the group. Um... So, give me just a minute to pull their name up here. I say, give me just a minute, guys. I'm really trying to invite this other person. All right, hold on, y'all. Give me just one second here. I know, I got them out, I was waiting for them to respond back. Alright, I think they're in, but, um... Alright, so, as you guys know, um, a while back I met this chick in the True Jungle family group on Facebook, which is what the initials stand for in the title. Um... Basically, I met this girl. Me and her got together. Wait, we had met in the group. We had been talking for a while. We decided to get together. And as you guys know, I've been hurt many times in the past. Well, that happened to get the better of me. Not knowing that she was, you know, asleep. Like, I had no idea. Well, next day rolls around after, you know, I do what I do. Well, let me just give you the short story of it. Basically, I put her, I was tricked into putting her number out on Facebook without even realizing it, like, I was tricked into it. And... Whatnot, and I got a seven day mute, which I understood that, but that's not what got me. What got me was today. Last night, I had apologized for what I had done. As you guys saw firsthand, I came on here and I apologized. I told her I was sorry. Me and her went back to being civil, thought everything was good until this morning. This morning I find out she had blocked my number, my safe, all social media where I had her, she basically blocked me. And I was wondering why, like I was trying to figure it out. Well, I go to, because I had my spare account in that group as well, so I went on to there to see. You know, just to, you know, kind of see. Well...
come to find out that she had basically lied to my face. And I had a whole bunch of hounding me about it. I told him to back the fuck off. Y'all need to just shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Well, the admin, James, got on my ass. And I told him, I was like, dude, I had a legitimate reason to go onto that account. Because she was talking shit about me when I had no reason. Like, she had no right to do that. I understand what I did was wrong, but what she was doing was way worse. She was running my name through the mud, even after I had apologized and made up for what I had done. Well, he didn't like that and kept getting on my ass and was like, you know, you shouldn't have done that and da 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 da. And like all kinds of shit. Well, long story short, he basically banned me because of me going into the group on my spare account when I had every fucking right and reason to. And I even told him, I was like, dude, you're not even listening to my side of the story of what happened. And he was like, oh, I don't care. I don't have to. I'm an admin. I can do whatever I want. Well, I told him, like, dude, that's your job is an administrator or an admin or as I was always, you know, raised around a moderator. Because, like, I grew up around Nanovide or what used to be called Nanovide and then went to Anaspace before my good friend Luffy had deleted the site because he couldn't afford the money to, you know, continue it, which was fine. But on that site, I was an admin or... As like I said, as they call a moderator, I was a moderator on there for almost, I'd say close to eight years. And I told him, like, dude, you need to do your job right. You need to listen to both sides of the story before you make a judgment call. And you need to let me explain. Well, ultimately, that led me to getting banned on both this account and that account. But that's all right, though. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the head, the owner of the group, Sarah, who I'm good friends with, and tell her, look, you need to replace this guy. He's not doing his job correctly. It is the job of an admin. <clears throat> and this goes for any group. This is for any of you out there that are looking to start up a group and need to know how to have admins do their job correctly. Like, I've got a lot of experience doing this. Like, it's the job of an admin or a moderator to, like, if somebody's fighting, there's always two sides to every story. Always. There's always two sides to it. It is the job of a moderator or an admin to listen to both sides of the story before making a judgment. So, like, if one person says they did this and another person says they didn't do it, you know, it's your job to listen to both sides before you make that call. Before you're like, hey, no, they didn't, or yeah, yes, they did, and then deal with it. But to get banned for defending myself, like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, It's stupid. Oh, sorry, there is. Yo, Julian, what's good, buddy? But like, let me just read off a little bit of what this James guy said. And tell me if you guys agree with me or with what he said. Take a sip of my Pepsi here. Shout out to Pepsi. Good shit. Rocking to Michael Jackson on the side of the can.
All right, let's see. Like, and this dude, somehow, they looked up all my names. Like, this dude was smart. Like, he looked up every account that I do have. All right, let's see. All right, this is what I told him. I was like, my now ex, the one I posted, this is exactly what I said to him. My now ex, the one I posted about, she ran my name through the mud after I would apologized. And she told me we were cool last night and then did this. And I sent him a screenshot of what was shown to me. And he's like, this, like, I'm going to read you guys a little bit of the conversation so you guys can get a gist of it. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Stay off the fucking page or you'll be banned permanently. I'm not going to continue this conversation either. Stay off either. And he's like, either stay off the page or I'll ban all your pages. And I told him, I was like, you need to listen to both sides of the story before you judge. And I was like, don't worry. Well, he's like, no, I don't. You were muted for posting personal info, which, and I agree, I was wrong in doing that. I admit that. And I was like, yeah, you do. That makes you a shitty admin if you don't do that. He's like, that doesn't mean you hop on a page on a different account. I told him, I was like, I, this is, I'll be straight with you. This is exactly what I said. I was like, I can do you 100 times better than you can any day. If you don't believe me, try me. And you ban me, all I got to do is go to Sarah, which is the person that owns the group. He's like, I'm a shitty admin. And he's like, you're a shitty fucking person. And I was like, so go ahead and try me. Give me a shot. He's like, oh, well, good luck with that. Fuck you. Enjoy your ban. And I was like, oh, don't worry. It won't be long. It won't last long. And I was like, you really need to learn how to do your fucking job right or get the fuck out. He's like, we'll see. Oh, I'll be able to. And then he was like, VTW, which is, by the way, for short. He's like, this is being forwarded to the other admins. They are all aware. And then I was like, you know, bitch, please don't flatter yourself. Because he was basically flattering himself. I was, to him, I was like, I can handle your job way better than you can any day. He's like, LOL, no, you can't because you aren't on the page. Like, this dude is a shitty fucking admin. Like, this dude really, like, he doesn't even make a decision. Like, he doesn't even listen to both sides before making a choice. And that's where he's in the wrong, which is when I'm going to have a conversation of the owner of the group about me. Like, look, you need to either unban me, like, you need to unban me from this group and replace this guy. Like, I'll be more than willing to take his place because I would, I would be in that group every day, you know, talking and hanging out with people. I have several friends in there. Several. And a lot of them agree with what I said. But I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Is it not the job of an admin or a moderator to listen to both sides of the story before they make a judgment call about what to do. I mean, is that not the job of an admin? Yes, I get I was wrong in doing what I did, and I made up for that. I apologize for that.
But when somebody runs your name through the mud after telling you they were cool with you, that gives you every reason to be like, hey, look, this needs to stop. Right, exactly, and that's the thing. Well, that's not exactly it. Like, not well. That's not entirely true because there's a lot of people in there that did like me, that you know, really listened to what I had to say and agreed with what I had to say. And as I said, I was wrong in doing what I did. I admit that. I really do. I admit I was wrong in doing what I did, and I paid the price for it. Love you too, Def, and take it easy. And don't do anything stupid, please. Exactly. Like, and I even went in there before that account got banned, and... Like, I even went in there before the account got banned, and I did, like, an hour and some minute live stream talking about what really should, you know, not only be changed in the group, but what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I explained all that in full. I was like, look, this is what I deal with every day. This is my life that I live every day. This is what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And stuff, and I did bring up a lot of subjects that needed to be touched on. But honestly, guys, I want your guys' opinions. Should an admin or a moderator listen to both sides of a story before making a judgment call? That's your question of the day. Well, with that being said, post your comments down below. I'm out. And happy fourth to everybody.